Hi and welcome back to my channel Machine Learning with me. Uh, previously we have discussed what is mean absolute error and its advantages and disadvantages. If you have not watched, I would suggest you to go and watch it right now. Today we are going to discuss mean squared error. It is a validation metric used to validate a regression model. It calculates the mean squared difference between actual value and the predicted value by the model. The squared error is calculated by taking the difference between actual value and the predicted value. Here the actual values are green dot and predicted values are red dots on the regression line. Later we are squaring it. So the actual values may lie above or below the regression line. In order to avoid the negative values here we are squaring it. In the previous video for mean absolute error we have taken the absolute function but here we are doing square. That is the main difference between MAE and MSE. So now we'll find out the squared error for remaining points and we'll add them all together to find out the total squared error. So total squared error can be denoted mathematically like summation of yi minus y cap whole square. So y cap here is predicted value and y hat is actual value. So let's find the mean squared error. Mean is nothing but average. So total squared error divided by total number of actual values. So n is number of data points. As per our sample, we have taken the n would be 3. So let's discuss advantages and disadvantages of MSE. If we want to optimize the model using optimization techniques such as gradient descent, we can further derive the model with subject to mean root square error. But if you have, if you remember in MAE, we can't optimize the model with subject to MAE, right? So this is an advantage over MAE for MSE. Uh, now let's talk about disadvantages. It is not robust to outliers. If there are outliers in the data, we cannot utilize or we cannot use to validate the model with MSC. MSC performs very lame with outliers, but whereas MAE mean absolute error, it performs well with outliers. Outliers do not affect the MAE value. So if you have less outliers, you can use MSC, but if you have more outliers, let's use MAE instead of MSC. So today we have successfully understood what is mean squared error, advantages and disadvantages of it and how to calculate it. I have already explained what is mean absolute error and also R square. If you would like to learn about them, I have left the video link in the description of this video. Go check them out and also please do subscribe, like and share.